Okay, next one. We have to understand here occurrence of metals. Occurrence of metals. We know metals are mined from the earth in the form of minerals. Metals are mined from the earth from, uh, in the form of minerals. Minerals mean elements or compounds which occurs naturally. Naturally getting elements or compounds are called minerals. Okay, minerals from which metal can be extracted. Okay, such type of minerals are called ore. Ore, ore mean minerals from which metal can be extracted profitably. Such type of minerals are called ore. Okay, example for ore, ore of aluminium, bauxite, ore of aluminium, bauxite, ore of iron, ore of iron, hematite, ore of zinc, zinc blend. These are some examples for ore. Okay, so here, here we discussed, uh, here we discussed minerals, uh, minerals mean naturally getting, naturally getting elements or compounds are called minerals similarly minerals from which metal can be extracted such type of minerals are called ore clear next one we have to understand here extraction of metals extraction of metals we know this is reactivity series reactivity series reactivity series mean arrangement of metals according to their reactivity Metals on the top of reactivity series, potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, aluminium. This type of metals are on the top of reactivity series. They are highly reactive metal. The metals on the top of reactivity series are extracted by electrolysis. Metals on the top of reactivity series, they are highly reactive and they are extracted by electrolysis. Metals, metals on the bottom part of reactivity series, they are highly unreactive. They are very less reactive metals. Example, silver, gold, platinum, this type of metals are highly unreactive. And these metals are obtained in native form. These metals are called native metals silver gold platinum this type of metal obtained in the nature in the pure form pure form that's why these metals are called native metals okay so metals on the top of reactivity series they are extracted by electrolysis metals on the bottom part they are obtained in pure form and they are called native metals Metals in the middle of reactivity series, they are moderately reactive. They are not high reactive and they are, they are not unreactive. They are moderately reactive. And these metals are extracted by re reduction with carbon. Reduction with carbon. We will discuss more details about this process, reducing with the carbon. Okay, so here you just understand metals, metals on the top of reactivity series, these metals are obtained, these metals are extracted by electrolysis. Metals on the bottom part, they are obtained by, they are obtained in the pure form. Metals in the middle of reactivity series, they are extracted by reducing with carbon. Clear? Next one, we have to understand here different steps for the extraction of metals. For the production of metals, there are several steps. There are several steps for the production of metals. First one, concentration of ore. Or you have to say, or you can say enrichment of ore. Ore mean minerals from which metal can be extracted. Okay, we discuss minerals mean naturally getting elements or compounds which contain metal part. Minerals which used for the extraction of metals, such type of minerals are called ore. Ore which contain metal part, also it contain impurities. Okay, so ore which contain metal part and impurities. 
we have to reduce impurity content we have to reduce impurities this process is called enrichment of ore okay enrichment of ore or we have we can say concentration of ore so these are the three different steps for the extraction or production of metal first one enrichment of ore second one here extraction of metal third one refining we will discuss more details about this now you understand three steps for the extraction of metals or three steps for the production of metal enrichment of ore extraction of metals and the third one refining okay okay next one we have to understand here enrichment of ore enrichment of ore enrichment of ore or we have to say concentration of ore ore mean ore mean minerals from which metal can be extracted or which contain impurities such as sand soil silica etc we have to reduce the impurity content this process is called enrichment of ore okay there are different methods there are different type of process for enrichment of ore this type of process depends on the physical and the chemical properties of ore or uh, metals okay the process which used to uh, enrichment of ore depends on the physical and the chemical properties of ore and metals clear after enrichment of ore we have to study here extraction of metals extraction of metals in low in reactivity series extraction of metals these metals are in low in reactivity series example for such type of metals mercury the ore of mercury cinnabar the ore of mercury it is cinnabar okay cinnabar mean hgs mercury sulfide okay this is the uh, this is the common name of this uh, this chemical cinnabar okay here i told you before the metals which is low in reactivity series they are they are very less reactive and this type of metals can be extracted by simple heating simply heating after heating we will obtain pure form of metal look here mercury sulfide on strong heating in presence of oxygen it will change to hgo it will change to mercury oxide and sulfur dioxide mercury oxide again after strong heating it will change to mercury and oxygen look here mercury sulfide on strong heating mercury oxide sulfur dioxide mercury oxide again after strong heating it changes to mercury and oxygen so metals in low in reactivity series we can extract by simple heating okay another example see here another example copper the ore of copper here copper sulfide cu2s okay here after strong heating cu2s it will change to copper oxide and sulfur dioxide cu2s on strong heating cu2o sulfur dioxide again the cu2 cu2o mixed with the cu2s look here copper sulfide on strong heating it form copper oxide same copper oxide reacting with the unreacted copper sulfide here copper sulfide form copper oxide this copper oxide reacting with unreacted copper sulfide and form pure form of copper and sulfur dioxide sulfur dioxide it is gaseous state and it will escape outside and we will obtain pure form of copper okay so metals in low in reactivity series we can extract by simple heating because this type of metals are less reactive we can purify very easily Okay, next one we have to understand here extraction of metals in the middle of reactivity series metals in the middle of reactivity series they are moderately reactive metals they are moderately reactive metals 
and this metals can be extracted by reducing with carbon reduction with carbon okay look here metals in the middle of reactivity series they are excess in the form of carbonate or sulfide metals in the middle of reactivity series they are excess in the form of sulfide or carbonate the sulfide and carbonate or first we have to convert into its oxide look here 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 sulfide or sulfide or convert into its oxide by strong heating in presence of oxygen this process is called roasting this process is called roasting roasting means sulfide or convert into its oxide on strong heating in presence of air this process is called roasting okay so here sulfide or change to sulfide or zinc sulfide change to zinc oxide zinc sulfide change to zinc oxide this zinc oxide heating with carbon zinc oxide strong heating with carbon now oxygen removed from zinc and here here after strong heating zinc oxide changes to zinc and carbon changes to carbon monoxide this process is called reduction you learned uh, before oxidation and reduction based on oxygen oxidation and reduction addition of oxygen called oxidation any substance reacting any metals or elements receiving oxygen such type of chemical reactions are called oxidation okay and here here zinc oxide zinc lost oxygen substance it losing oxygen such type of chemical reactions are called reduction reduction so look here here zinc oxide change to zinc zinc oxide losing oxygen such type of chemical reactions are called reduction reduction and see here carbon change to carbon monoxide so carbon received oxygen such type of chemical reactions are called oxidation okay so here zinc oxide reduced reduction happened zinc oxide in which reduction happened so we can say zinc oxide reduced okay reduction reduced so here here i told you here metals in the middle of reactivity series they exist in the form of sulfide or carbonate so first we have to convert this or in the form of oxide so sulfide or after strong heating in presence of air it will convert into its oxide this process is called roasting okay then metal oxide after reduction we will obtain metal clear similarly metal carbonate on strong heating in limited supply of air it will change to metal oxide this process is called calcination calcination look here metal carbonate on strong heating here here metal sulfide on strong heating in excess amount of air in presence of air but here metal carbonate on strong heating in limited supply of oxygen or in limited supply of air it will change to metal oxide and carbon dioxide this process is called calcination this process is called calcination so roasting and calcination these two process related to extraction of metals in the middle of reactivity series after calcination we obtain metal oxide this metal oxide again reducing with carbon we will obtain metal and carbon monoxide clear so here here we will obtain we will obtain metal metal oxide to metal reducing with carbon so we can use reducing with carbon also there is another method another chemical reaction displacement reaction displacement reaction also helps to obtain also helps to convert metal oxide to metal displacement reaction you learned before 
displacement reaction. Displacement reaction means metals on the top of reactivity series. Okay, we discussed before reactivity series. Uh, potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, aluminium, zinc, iron, uh, this type of metals. When you are coming from top to down, reactivity decreasing. So here, here calcium is more reactive than magnesium. So calcium can displace magnesium from its compound. This type of chemical reactions are called a displacement reaction. Displacement reaction also helps to convert metal oxide to metal. See here one example, magnesium oxide, sorry, manganese oxide, Mn. Manganese oxide reacted with aluminum, manganese and aluminum oxide. Okay, so look here, manganese, it is less reactive than aluminum. So here, aluminum displaces oxygen from manganese oxide and we obtain here manganese so this is example for displacement reaction displacement reactions are exothermic reaction that's why it produce heat energy okay next one we have to understand here extraction of metals on the top of reactivity series metals on the top of reactivity series they are highly reactive Example for such type of metals, sodium, potassium, magnesium, aluminium, these are on the top of reactivity series and they are highly reactive. Okay, this highly reactive metals and their metal oxide cannot reduce with carbon. Okay, here look here, highly reactive metals, example for sodium oxide. It cannot reduce with carbon because this highly reactive metals they have greater affinity towards oxygen they have greater affinity towards oxygen compared to carbon so here here reduction with carbon not possible that's why we will use electrolysis okay here metals on the top of reactivity series these metals are extracted by electrolysis we have to conduct electrolysis of molten compound. Electrolysis of molten compound. Example for such type of electrolysis, look here, sodium chloride. Sodium chloride on strong heating, it will melt. Sodium chloride, it is solid state. In solid state, it is insulated. After strong heating, it will melt. Molten sodium chloride pass electricity. Okay, and we will we will conduct electrolysis in molten sodium chloride. Okay, and uh, during electrolysis, you know there is cathode and anode. Cathode it is negatively charged electrode. Anode it is positively charged electrode. Sodium chloride after strong heating it form ions. Okay, positively charged ions and negatively charged ions. So here Na plus it will it will deposit at cathode. Metals with a positive charge it will deposit at cathode. Okay, and here Cl minus Cl minus it will deposit positively charged electrode. Positively charged electrode mean anode. Okay, this way we can extract metals on the top of reactivity series. So here we discuss metals on the top of reactivity series. They are highly reactive. They are highly reactive. We have to conduct electrolysis. We have to conduct electrolysis. Okay. Electrolysis of molten compound. After passing electricity, positively charged metals ions, it will deposit at cathode. Clear? Next one, we had to understand here, third step of extraction of metal, refining, refining of metals. Okay, this is the third step of extraction of metals. Electrolytic refining is the most important refining, electrolytic refining. Metals such as zinc, zinc, copper, tin, nickel, zinc, copper, tin, nickel this type of metals are purified by electrolytic refining okay in electrolytic refining we will use this type of this type of apparatus arrangement in electrolytic refining here here this is anode 
and this is cathode cathode here anode anode is impure cop impure metal anode is impure metal and cathode is thin pure cop uh, thin pure metal example for this type of apparatus arrangement we will use uh, refining of copper copper we will purify electrolytic refining okay so we will use this type of apparatus arrangement to purify copper okay uh, impure copper called copper blister copper blister okay we have to purify this copper blister we will use electrolytic refining so we will use impure copper impure copper will be anode okay thin pure copper will be cathode cathode mean negatively charged cathode mean negatively charged electrode anode mean positively charged electrode and here electrolyte electrolyte must be a salt solution aqueous solution of copper for example aqueous copper sulfate aqueous copper sulfate will be electrolyte so here we we are talking here electrolytic refining okay here metals such as zinc copper tin nickel this type of metals we will purify uh, with help of electrolytic refining in electrolytic refining we will use this type of apparatus arrangement anode will be impure metal cathode will be thin pure metal and electrolyte will be aqueous solution of metal okay we want to purify copper so we have to use aqueous copper sulfate we want to purify zinc so we have to use an aqueous solution of zinc clear so after passing electricity here after passing electricity cathode and the anode here i told you here anode it is impure copper impure copper mean copper with copper with the impurity after passing electricity all impurities will be settled down impurities will be settled down and and the copper will be dissolved in the aqueous solution anode which contain uh, copper also impurities impurities will be settled down and copper content will be dissolved in aqueous solution okay so we can represent like this anode lose electron and it will change to cu2 plus actually cu mean it is electrode this electrode will be dissolved in aqueous solution okay this is in aqueous solution same time cathode so in aqueous solution there is cu2 plus this cu2 plus will be deposit in cathode okay so cu2 plus from aqueous solution it will deposit at cathode so this type of chemical reaction takes place during electrolytic refining okay from aqueous solution cu2 plus receive electron and it will deposit at cathode receiving electron receiving electron mean reduction takes place at at cathode reduction takes place same time look here anode anode loose electron anode made of copper this copper loose electron and copper dissolved in electrolyte okay so here copper law copper loose electron losing electron oxidation so anode oxidation and cathode reduction happens clear so these are the things we have to understand about electrolytic refining okay next one we have to discuss here corrosion corrosion here we know metals in presence of acid alkali and air and water it will be destruct the destruction of metals are called corrosion corrosion okay iron will be rust in presence of iron will be rust in presence of air and water okay see this activity here three different test tube uh, each test tube which contain iron nail okay in first test tube there is air and water second one there is water on the surface of water there is a layer of oil also there is air 
okay in third test tube there is anhydrous calcium chloride anhydrous calcium chloride okay and air okay here here keep this apparatus arrangement for few days after few days you check this three different test tube you can see here in first test tube iron iron will be iron nail will be rest in second and third test tube iron nail do not rest okay from this activity we can understand that the condition for resting is air and water air and water needed for resting in second experiment there is a layer of oil that's why that's why air cannot reach over here that's why in second test tube iron nail do not rust in third test tube it is calcium chloride calcium chloride it absorb moisture it will absorb moisture and that's why here it is dry air there is no water vapor there is no moisture so only air that's why in third test tube iron nail do not rust okay this activity shows that the condition for rusting air and water clear after that we have to understand here how to prevent rusting of iron how to prevent rusting of iron first one we have to understand here galvanizing 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 mean we have one piece of iron cover this piece of iron with the zinc zinc layer zinc is more reactive metal zinc will rust and iron will be protected this method is called galvanizing we have a piece of zinc sorry we have a piece of iron this iron will cover with a with a layer of zinc zinc will be rust and iron will be protected this method is called galvanizing even there is a breakage even there is a breakage on the layer of zinc iron do not rust because iron is more reactive metal it will lose electron and and iron will receive electron we discuss we discuss electrolytic refining in electrolytic refining anode lose electron and cathode receive receive electron similarly something receiving electron here do not rust here okay reduction happened so here here in galvanizing even there is a breakage on zinc layer zinc do not, zinc will rust and iron will be protected clear after that we have second method to prevent rusting of iron here alloy alloy alloys alloys mean mixture of metals alloys are homogeneous mixture of metals or metals and non metals okay alloys are homogeneous mixture of metals or metals and non metals this mixture is called this mixture is called alloys clear alloying is one important method to prevent rusting of iron here here we can during alloying here pure metal can be convert into another another substance with desirable properties we can improve the qualities of uh, qualities good qualities of the metals we can improve for example here pure iron it will rust when we convert this iron to steel steel mean it is alloy steel do not rust okay compared to iron steel do not rust so we can improve the quality okay another one here uh, copper pure copper will convert into brass 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 mean it is alloy which contain copper and zinc similarly bronze bronze mean it is alloy which contain copper and tin i told you before stainless steel steel there are different type of steel stainless steel it contain iron nickel and chromium okay so alloy mean here pure metal will convert into pure metal will convert into mixture of metals and we can improve the qualities such as hardness strength and prevent rusting of prevent rusting this type of qualities we can improve but compared to pure metals alloys are alloys are poor conductor of electricity 
ओके कम कंपेयर टू प्योर मेटल्स अलॉयस आर पुअर कंडक्टर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सो दिस आर द टू मेथड टू प्रिवेंट वस्टिंग ऑफ आयन गैल्बनाइजिंग एंड अलॉय वी हैव अनदर अनदर मेथड्स टू प्रिवेंट वस्टिंग ऑफ आयन हियर पेंटिंग ओके वी हैव ए पीस ऑफ मेटल्स वी वॉन्ट टू प्रिवेंट वस्टिंग सो वी हैव टू वी हैव टू कवर वी हैव टू पेंट द सर्फस ऑफ मेटल ओके Uh, and another one oiling surface of metal covered with the oil put a layer of oil or put a layer of grease called greasing greasing mean we will put grease on the surface of metal okay or put a plastic layer on the surface of metal these are the different method to prevent rusting of iron so we discuss different method to prevent rusting of iron galvanizing galvanizing zinc zinc metal used for galvanizing and alloying alloying different type of alloy stainless steel stainless steel iron nickel chromium brass copper and zinc bronze copper and tin another one solder solder also another type of alloy which contain tin and lead tin and lead okay compared to pure metal this mixture of metals solder it has very low melting point that's why it used to soldering soldering okay and other other important met, uh, methods to prevent rusting of iron painting oiling greasing and put a plastic layer on the surface of iron okay this are the different method to prevent rusting of iron so here this are the different things we have to discuss in this chapter metal and non metal okay we will discuss the uh, textbook exercise in another video you can watch it later okay thank you for watching this video